So by popular demand, we are covering R&B's most used chord progression right now, the 2-5-1. It's long been part of R&B's history and is heavily used in jazz and gospel music. But R&B is my thing and it's made a strong resurgence in the R&B that we are listening to today. To first understand the 251, we first need to understand what the numbers actually mean. So the numbers derive from what's called the Nashville number system, whereby every note in a scale has a number. That way it allows us to play the same chord progressions in all 12 keys without having to write out or call out the chord names for each chord within that scale. So let's take the C major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and back to 1. With our 2, 5, 1, we are literally just playing the 2, the 5, and the 1. Recognize that sound? You probably should. With a 2, 5, 1, you usually assume that the 2 is going to be a minor chord, the 5 a major chord, and the 1 a major chord. However, with a lot of things in music, there is no hard and fast rule with this. You can embellish and voice until the cows come home. The main thing is that the root note stays the same. So in the key of C major, our 251 would be D minor, G major, C major. Now we can do 251s in all 12 keys. And it's very important to learn them in all 12 keys also. But for now, let's look at a 2-5-1 in the key of F. So if we play our F major scale, we have this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and back to 1. So same principle here, we take the 2, which is a G minor, the 5, which is a C major, and the one which is an F major. Again, we have minor, major, major. So as you can hear in C and in F, we have the same sound. Using different chords, but the intervals between the chords, meaning the distance between the notes, are all exactly the same. So let's jump back into the key of C and let's take a look at throwing our 251 in within a larger chord progression. So this is our chord progression, F, E major, A, and then we return back to the F. There's this huge gap between the A minor and the F major, so it's the perfect space for us to throw in our 2-5-1. Now we want to get from the A minor to the F major. F major is our landing chord, so we'll play our 2-5-1 in the key of F major. So now G becomes 2, C becomes 5, and our F becomes 1. 2-5-1. Just for this brief moment, or in our minds. So if you remember, the chords for our 2-5-1 in F major was G minor, C major, F major. So that's what we're going to throw in to get back to our F major chord. Now this is just the basics, we could then go on to embellish our chords and voice them a hell of a lot better than this. Now we're still playing the same 2-5-1, but we're just voicing our chords differently. Pay attention to the left hand and you'll notice that the root notes are staying the same. And that's it guys for the basics on the 251. This is my first time doing a piano video like this, so your feedback is needed. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Did I go too fast, too slow? Was it too long, too short, just right? All feedback is welcome. I would like to do more of these videos as well, but only if it's what the community wants. So be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you want a head start on your R&B chord progressions, I have a pack with over 30 R&B chord progressions and 50 chord progressions from other genres that can help you with your music. There are MIDI files which you can drag and drop straight into your beats, change key, change sound, change chords.
you're free to do all of that so if you want to get a head start on your rb core progressions and you want to support me and help me do more videos like this check out the link in the description below and you can pick up your copy thanks guys i've been stefan and as always happy beat making